Hey guys, welcome to day 122. Man, I don't know. Do you guys still want me to keep doing daily updates? Some of you say that the daily videos help you guys out. Um, so that's what I've been trying to do is like if they help you out, some of you said maybe once a week. So I've kind of gotten a mixed bag, but in the meantime, I'm just going to keep doing dailies. But guys, welcome to my daily vlog for now of my carnivore journey, day 122. And of course, uh, if you couldn't tell by this, the thumbnail, I finally got to have a steak. It was nice. It was just over a pound of steak. And for, cause, oh, I had two hot dogs for lunch. Cause I didn't, I hard boiled some eggs. Remember I told you guys, but I just, I just wanted to get out of the house today um, and get to work. So I forgot all about the eggs. <laughs> Um, to take with me and uh, which now that I think about it I'm kind of in a loner vehicle at my work so I wouldn't have had my salt on me my salt in my in my other truck <laughs> so it would have been kind of like and not that I'm saying you have to have salt with eggs but look I love hard-boiled eggs with like sprinkling some salt on them you know and in, in like each bite so anyways I had two hot dogs and then I had that steak so um, you know I feel like anytime I start straying from meat and I get more heavy toward chicken or eggs or something, I just feel like my body tells me it's like, eh, you know, but then whenever I have meat, like full on like pound of meat or whatever, like a, a decent amount of meat and fat, like it really makes me feel a lot better. So and I know some of you would would probably agree with me on that one. Um, but as far as today goes, um, today was was all right. It wasn't too bad. Decent amount of energy. Um, I was a little tired. It was, it was a rough night last night, um, not because of my diet or anything. It just was a rough night in, in general, just for personal reasons. And I just didn't get to bed until like 6.30 in the morning, and I had to be up like three hours later. So I got to work tonight, so I got my coffee. And as soon as I come home from work, I'm hoping I can go straight to bed without any other BS. Um so, because uh, definitely fatigue is something you really want um, to 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 be on top of, you know. Make sure to get rest, basically. <laughs> Let's see. That's all I have for updates on what I ate um, and how I felt. I did have a pretty good poop this morning. Um, so... Who knows? I may be starting to weigh less. Like I said, it's been averaging 2.9 pounds a week, but I'm not going to – like I hate knowing that in a way because now it's almost like my expectations are going to be there. But at the same time, I wanted to give you guys stats. So um, I heard some really good things from you guys in the comments. I really appreciate that. Of course, as always, you guys are amazing. And like I told you, man, th you guys are really what gets me through this. If If – I would say, honestly, if like nobody chatted with me anymore and nobody started watching my videos, I don't know if I would continue to do them. I, I think at this point, though, I'm just going to be honest. If okay, if, if I had nothing, would I still do carnivore? At this point, yes, because I've gone far enough. And like I told you guys, to me, it was around that day 70s ish. and. I'm not trying to speak for Rick Van Man, but I've noticed a few other people, including Rick, and he was mentioning in some of his videos back when he was doing daily vlogs, RIP. Uh, so when he was doing daily vlogs around like the late 60s, day six or whatever, like right before he stopped, though, he was said that he was turning the corner on like cravings and just wanting other foods in general or whatever. Like he was starting to make some real headway on those things. And that's why for me, when I was like in that, you know, day 72 ish or right around that early day seventies, I too started making those headways a little later than him, but I started making those, um, th those progress, uh, the, the, the progression there. And that's why I'm telling you guys, once you get to a certain point, now, some people were asking me about sugar cravings and things like that. I mean, every once in a while, you're going to be around it. You know what I mean? And there's deep-seated habits that just pop.
pop in your head. I mean, like, you know, when they, whenever they like Easter comes around, right. And all the Easter candy, the Cadbury eggs. I mean, that's one of my downfalls. Um, one of my mini downfalls, but Cadbury eggs. I love Cadbury eggs. I love, I personally love them in the fridge. They can be the caramel or the regular ones, but I like them in the fridge. And then I like to, you know, bite into them or whatever. I like when they're a little more colder and they're not as runny. They're just so much enjoyable um, to me. It was one of my things. So anyways, but whenever like certain things, like now we're into Easter time frame, so all the Easter candies out. And they always come out with new shit, right? They come out with new stuff and you're like, oh, like, ooh. And that that deep-seated mentality of like you, you instantly recognize – your favorite ingredients like chocolate, caramel, whatever, you know, whatever it is. And you're like, oh, man, I bet that would be amazing. And that's the fat guy mentality, right? That's that fat person talk. That's that sugar addiction talk. And you're like, no, like, then, and I have to stop myself. And I just say, no, that's just toxic poison, man, toxic poison. And it works. It works because. The reason why it works is because of how you feel as a carnivore. If I didn't feel consistently good every day, then I would start to doubt carnivore, right? You know what I mean? I'd start to doubt things and be like, well, you know, I'm missing out on life and I still feel roughly the same as I used to. No, that's not how it is. It's like, dude, I feel amazing. I feel so much better. And it's like, I can't wait to get to better days, like when I'm even thinner and when I can start running more and start doing more activities and like all these things come in my mind and it's like, oh my God, I could do this again. Oh my God, I could do this again. Oh, maybe I won't be too fat to fit in a canoe anymore. You know, things like that, right? Like all these little things and then you're like, and then you start going through your clothes and I started going through some clothes that I've, I've had for a long time and it's not that they're out of fashion. There's some of them are just basic t-shirts, but they're like nice. Like they're like decent t-shirts, things that I had that I wore like one time, barely fit into them even back then. And then I washed them and then they were a little tight. They, they were things like two X's, some three X's, and I got to four X and my four X's, the only four X's I could wear, they had to be long enough. And, um, so now I, I've I've put on a few two X's, but I still don't like the way they fit. So I'm not there yet. So I'm not going to try on any clothes. But the point is, is that I'm getting really close. And uh, and so now it's like, oh my god, all of these clothes that I can rewear. Now I went through and I did throw away some that I'm like, I'm never going to wear that, even if I can fit into it. Either this just like some old ratted shirts that I just thought like. Well, you know, it was like a favorite shirt on the weekends. You know, I'd, I'd work on my car in that shirt or whatever. <laughs> you know, it's like, no. So I'm, I got rid of some of that stuff. Some things that I just know I'll never fit into. But there's a couple things I'm really looking forward to fitting into someday. I'm trying to be patient. But the closer I get, the more excited I get. And that's what I, I want to pass on to you guys that maybe need that extra hope. It's like, trust me, you're going to get there. You're going to get there because if you don't, I'm going to shave my head. No, I'm just kidding. No. If you don't get there, then you need to, to, to find out why. Like, you, you know, I'm telling you, anybody can do this. If you fail a carnivore, you must be doing something wrong, most likely. I'm not trying to put the blame on you or whatever. I'm not trying to blame you. I'm saying if you're out there and you're struggling and you're like, I don't get it. Get with me or somebody and be like, look, this is exactly what I'm eating every single day. Okay, we can work with you. All right, because it's tough. There's all kinds of advice out there. It's like a lot of advice and some of it's hypocritical. Right. And it's hard to decipher through all that. Take supplements. Don't take supplements. You know, things like that. Take iodine. Don't take iodine. It's. You just don't always know. Right. So. <clears throat> Again, get with somebody if you're if you're struggling. If it's a slow journey and you're making progress, but it's slower than you want, hang in there. Hang in there. You're going to dial it in. Okay? Now, I pretty much know exactly what I need to eat. 
every single day. And if I'm still hungry, I've got my own little snacks, a little hard boiled eggs or bacon or whatever on the side. Now, I don't just automatically say, hey, I'm going to have a steak, two eggs, two pieces of bacon or whatever. Like I don't set myself like that unless I know I'm going to be starving. Like if I'm like, oh man, I could, I think I'm going to eat a whole steak or a whole pound of burger. And I think I need a couple eggs and, and uh, some bacon. Then I'll do that. Like when, like uh, when I had those, the bacon and eggs or the burger and eggs yesterday, it was like, I knew that I had two days of chicken. I was starving. And when I got to dinner and it's like, I knew, I knew I was going to have to have more than just that pound of meat. And so I had like three eggs with it and and it made me feel good in the end. So I'm just letting you know to think about those things when you go into your dinner, but you're going to get those things down. You're going to know your body like that. So don't stress. But anyways, guys, um, so I know that I told you guys, hey, we got a lot of different content that I'm going to be doing. Um, You know, patience patience. Trust me, we're going to be doing a lot of new things and you're not going to probably see this studio background behind me much because I'll, I'll be doing other things like either in my kitchen or whatever. But there is going to be some other type of format to my videos as well. Um, so don't stress. But either way, even if we're here in the studio, it's all good, right? We're still talking. We're still hanging out. Um, but I really do uh, have these plans and in, in, but they're just not here yet. So I just wanted to tell you guys about them because I know some of you were asking, but they're coming. Okay. Um, was there anything else I needed to cover? I think, cause sometimes I try to cover things in the comments. Like when they ask, like when you guys ask questions, I try to also cover it in the videos if I can. Some of you I've been directly, um, talking to, uh, yeah. I mean, other than that, like, Oh, and I can tell you with my steak tonight, um, be real careful with the Redmond salt, the, the course, like in the bag, like the salt, I salted it pretty much like I used to with coarse salt, like the, like, you know, the Morton's kosher coarse salt. Uh, I used to, I used to salt my, you know, steaks in that coarse salt. Well, now that I'm doing Redmond, and I'm, and, and I'm not doing pink hair land. When I kind of did a similar amount, my steak was on the salty side. Okay. So I'm just letting you know that you might want to cut back when you salt your steaks with Redmond, especially the coarse stuff. You might want to cut it back a little bit. It's very potent. Redmond's is very potent. And I still could taste a few grains. Even after cooking and searing my steak, you could taste a few salt grains. Um, it was it was it was pretty salty. So make sure just to kind of watch. It's a little little tip for you there. All right, guys. We will see you tomorrow, day one and twenty three, as we head toward day one fifty. That's our next thirty day goal, and ultimately trying to get to day one eighty. That would be the six month mark, and we'll definitely have to see how things are going then. So, all right, guys. We will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.